everybody it's joe with the jeep shop happy saturday or at least i think it's saturday i don't know i lost track of the days um today we're going to show a quick video on how to replace the upper shock bolts on your xj so uh, i already showed uh, on my instagram account uh, a couple pictures of um, the holes that i knocked out with my air chisel when you snap off the bolts for the upper shock bolts uh, you basically strip out those well, you, hell you don't even get to strip them out they just break right in half the head comes right off so we're going to uh, do a little fishing uh, expedition this afternoon and um, all we really need is this lot this uh, I guess it's you can get it like a craft store it's like a it's like a little like a wire it's almost like a, you know like wire uh, without the coating on it and then this bolt so let's do a little fishing Let's start. So the first thing you want to do is take your fishing wire and run it through the little upper shock mount hole that you made. And you want to have it come out so my arm's in the way. That end right there. It's a little hard to do with one arm. But uh, you should see that fishing line come through right there. Yep. And then all you'll do is snag it. So you kind of have this going through, right? Oh, jeez. So, oh, oh boy. There we go. Better with two hands. Okay. It's going to kind of kink that. <clears throat> so now you have that. And I'll show you the next step. This I definitely need two hands okay, for. Okay, look, we caught a bolt with our fishing wire. So the plan is to kind of fish this through that hole. And let's see if we can get that. I wish I could do this with two hands here. Let's see. The other side won't be so bad because we won't have all this stuff here. Wind it around that wire as much as you can. Uh, wind that wire around that bolt as much as you can, just to give yourself some, some chance for it to actually work. Sorry, sorry for my big meat hooks being in the way. And, uh, and there you go. And then you just have to cut. Boom. Done. The trick is to wind it from the top first and then have it end up at the front of the bolt because you want to lead with the with this part having it close to the end of the wire so it kind of cinches it in and pulls it into the hole. Um, so that's the best thing to do. Like start winding the wire from the top of the bolt, wind it all the way through and it ends up at the tip and voila, it's in. Now I used a washer just to give it some extra room and uh, and that's it really. Um, can you tighten, can you put an, a, a wrench on the top of that? No. Correction, um, you are no, able no, to it, use an open-ended wrench to, to get sure onto the top up. of the bolt to tighten um, it down. Obviously, so it doesn't come off. Um, shocks are a very important part of your suspension and I would make sure that you tighten it until it is tight as can be for you. Um, so I'll do the other sides, but uh, it's the same process. I know there are other um, tools you can buy. Um, uh, I think uh, Rugged Ridge sells. It looks like a, like a U almost with bolts on the edge of it. Um, I'll post a link to a, a great company uh, that makes these in the good old US of A, and I'll put these in the description, uh, a link of it, um, so you can take a look at it. But um, basically you would just feed that in and those two nuts would show up right here and right here, and then you would put a you would put a bolt through. We're kind of doing it differently. We're putting a bolt through, and then we'll have the nut showing through. So uh, either way, it's good to go. So I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Six feet, everybody. Bye. Mm -hmm.